Who would have guess? We can make it the way that we want it. Who would have guess? I could wake up to this in the morning. Wish I fall, my foot just go ball. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to another reaction video. This is Bob S. Course. Welcome to my channel. Um, like I said, welcome to my channel. Um, if you haven't hit the subscribe button, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, because today is going to be something different. Um, yeah, I have a different, you know, a little bit of different content that I can want to share with you all. Um, it just came up on my news feed um and i just want to sit up here and, and just give the rundown on this channel on something new that i have just came across don't know what he's about evidently he he talks about talks about manga and, and anime and a whole lot which i am a, a manga and anime fan you know if you haven't noticed or anything i am but we want to sit up there and shed some light on this you know particular certain person or whatever this may be or whatever this is all new to me but yes we're gonna jump right into this um i'm not even familiar with familiar with his work um i think it's um dj let's see here and so off this right now you see uh cj the champ so yeah we're gonna roll into his stuff as you can see by the title and we're just gonna go ahead and jump into this um 20 minutes long first one coming up i may end up doing another one after this we gotta see how this goes first time so yes um yeah let's get it see what we in for today so homeboy pull up again and he's like huh I know exactly who you are now. You're what? the Bloodhound of Florencia. And it's my lucky day because the cartel got a four million dollar bounty on your head right now. Oh, but really? She just looks at him and says, Sorry, but I must leave you, gentlemen. Please oh, yeah. take these. She got a cross on her. Oh, shit. Yo. She just dropped grenades like that. Oh, this is going to be interesting right here. Yeah, this is going to be interesting right here. All right, so, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. It is finally time to return to the streets of Rowanifer, the home of gang violence, pirates, mercenaries, and probably every goddamn mafia you could probably think of. This I is bet. none other than the Black Air Force Crockpot. So as expected, there is a new <laughs> challenger approaching to the round table of Black Air Force activity. And it's Ooh, okay. none other than a maid. I beg your pardon? Yeah. What? This absolute f***ing demon. This literal menace to society. What in the, the world is going on here? Roberta. The Roberta. definition of do not judge a book by its cover. Because this is not a maid. This is a Terminator. I would not be surprised if somebody said this is a T-something model. So y'all already know we got the evidence okay. on deck. And it is finally time to observe the maid from hell. So without further ado, Exhibit A. All right, ladies and gentlemen, okay. I now present to you Exhibit A, the prelude to the madness. prelude to madness. So the Lagoon Company ended up taking this job from the Colombian Mafia, and with okay. this job, they have to transfer this boy named Garcia. Now you see, Garcia isn't an ordinary kid because Lil Jit right here is the son to one of the thirteen great families of South America. So Reggie keeps on harassing the little nigga. So then he. Okay. Well, let me stop right there real quick. I just had to stop real quick. Why does it always have the plot behind a little kid? Either it's a behind a little kid or it's something in that nature. There's always a, a little a little plot for a big re you know, a big reaction out of the story. I, I mean, it, it always happens like that, but it's always a kid and it's always dealing with a mafia or some type of boss. Or anything in that nature it always begins like that i'm just gonna throw it out there he says oh you must think this real funny huh just wait till my maid come so she started laughing her ass off she like the f that bitch gonna do wash the dishes what? Oh. but then he says well you see she's not that good at cleaning or cooking and when we used to arm wrestle all the time i always used to beat her but one time when we was arm wrestling the mafia pulled up in her oh, arm shoot. wouldn't 
even move. Oh my god, that bicep. So Roberta ends up pulling up to Rowan and Okay. Garcia. So when she gets there, she goes around and starts asking people, hey, she do you know where you could point me to my fellow countrymen? I would like to have a word with them. And these is like, you want to know where the Colombian mafia is at? You got to be out of your damn mind. But she's like, I just want to have a word. That's all. So while this is happening, okay. we cut to Balalaika. So homie right here like, Comrade Balalaika, you should take a look at this. <laughs> so he gives her this picture and she's like, hold on, wait a damn minute. Comrade, this ain't no damn May. Look at them eyes. Oh, she got that dog in her. So now we cut to the bar. She got that so dog in sitting here waiting <laughs> for the mafia. That's a good so one. When they pull up, they like, hey, bitch, heard you was snooping around the f you want a bullet, nigga. So she ends up breaking her glass. So then she oh, gets up and she's snap. Like, yes, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Roberta of the Lovelace family. Now, please. Yo, tell me what okay, hold up, hold up. Now, peep this. It's about to go down. One for one. Anytime somebody dress up like a maid and then you have a cross around your neck it makes it seem like it gives you that vibe of how would i say the maid vibe obviously but then it gives you like part none like you can't do no wrong like you really like you just sitting there just like you know oh you're a little fly on the wall you little butterfly you harmless or whatever like that but peep this she has the whole get up. Why she got an umbrella? What's up with the umbrella? It's not raining. It's not doing anything out there. Last time I checked, it was raining in the video. Why she got an umbrella? Two, she got a suitcase. And you know, anytime when you be packing, and we talking about her, she's packing. I'm pretty sure that's what's about to go down right now if i'm not wrong is, i would not like this to get violent but they start laughing their ass off they like the what? What they laughed do, throw a dish? so then she starts lifting up her umbrella oh then she says what well, yep it's like i'm just gonna have to i knew it. Out then. i you knew what? i knew it y'all done messed up now oh my god so they like hey nigga, show that so they start blasting and she enters and the they miss it. So after they stop firing, she's like, hmm, y'all got stormtrooper aim. Allow me to show you my new aimbot I just installed. So she started going crazy. Wow. <laughs> With an umbrella. Pause. So as she continues to air the entire bar out, the goon company taking cover under this table and Dutch like, damn. Why do we always get stuck with these stupid ass jobs? <laughs> oh, he got blasted away. He's crawling over, and then the bartender sees her. And look at him, he's like, I swear to God, if you was the one who brought all these niggas up in my damn bar, bitch, I hope you have insurance. So then everything just goes quiet. Wow. So I'm right back there, like, hey, the f Lagoon Company, hey, nigga, f is my package. He the at? first. The judge is like, nah, OG, the deal's off. I ain't messing with that maid over there. So Roberta sees Garcia, she's like, ah, oh, Master Garcia. Come now, my boy. It is time to go home. Who are these people? Do they need to be eliminated? So then Revy grabs him. She's like, I, 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 Oh, stop. really? So really? Like, hmm, you dare threaten the young master. So homeboy right here try to sneak her, but then she hits him with the reverse no scope. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, the reverse card. She is like that. So then she's like, hmm, very well then. So you have chosen death. Time to put your ass six feet under, bitch. So she starts lighting it up with the briefcase. Oh. And then she hit it with the new tube. Oh, my God. GG, she is out cold. He is gone. She just really packed up Revy in the amount of 10 seconds. So then they trying to dip and even Garcia. He's like, please, God, take me with you. So Roberta just drops a briefcase. She's like, absurd. She's Mr. packing. Garcia is scared of me. So homeboy pull up again. And he's like, huh. I know exactly who you are now. You're the Bloodhound of Florencia. And it's my lucky day because the cartel got a four million dollar bounty on your head right now. But she just looks at him and says, Sorry, but I must leave you, gentlemen. Please. That's when she dropped all the grenades. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. What a, new best way to make money what a beautiful finish. I, I'm about. pretty sure she's not done there. I'm pretty sure. Mm, mm, mm. 
Didn't even stand a chance, man. No. Nope. So Doom Company dipping, they gone. Great heavens, look at this absolute She's demon. still there. She is unscathed and she is hitting the Sephiroth pose right now. I know, she right? She this window with no effort. This is the Terminator. So about five minutes later, while they driving, she done already caught up. And what? She's whipping that hoe, god damn. So Dutch pulls out the gun and starts trying to shoot her. But she drives up, grabs this by the arm and starts pulling him out of the out car. The car. They're looking to be hitting on everything, but she just eat that sh She's not even flinching. But her car finally breaks down, so they finally get a chance to escape. But this did not last long. No, I bet it didn't. She, I hope she not. I hope she, she not. She's whipping that hole on the roof. So she jumps down and on crashes the roof. into him and uses her aimbot to take out their On the wheel. roof. So she crashed into this building, but she breaks out of the car. You surviving car crashes like that? She went the wrong city. You need to take your ass to Fast and Furious. What y'all uh, on diesel ass? I know. Look at this run. Oh, my God. She tracking that she whole got the with that CW flash ass run. So she whips <laughs> these things out and jumps I onto can't. the car. So Dutch like, move, nigga. I'm about to shoot this bitch. So he starts blasting, but she whips on top of the car, pulls out the dualies, and starts going crazy on the roof. So they end up going over to the shipping yard, and she gets cracked by this cone. So they end up crashing, and it looks like she's finally out. So they look. Nah, she's not out. And she is gone. She's gone. She is back, ready for more smoke. So Revy finally. Wakes oh my up and god. Like, Damn, that bitch really pulled the noob tube on my ass. I should return the favor. So they start standing off for their final fight. So Revy says, make a move, bitch. Then Roberta says, shut the fuck up, you nasty bitch. I can smell your dirty ass all the way from here, you stank booty hoe. So they start blasting, and this goes on for like God knows how long. <laughs> it was dark when they started, and it's almost morning. Like, how much ammo do y'all have? So later on, she ended up putting a bullet in Revy's shoulder. And look at this. She like, I swear to God, I'm going to put a bullet in your little googly-eyed ass. So they come out shooting and start running at each other. So they end up hitting each other. So they both down and they about to shoot. They out. Kala Laika ends up stopping them. She's like, all right, ladies, let's cut out the bullshit. <laughs> and she done brought the whole oh, army mafia with her. So she walks up and says, you know, I got to thank you, Miss Maid. I was going to deal with the cartel today, but <laughs> guess you done already did that. So she wow. shoots the guns out of both their hands and grabs one. Then she says, all right, Miss Bloodhound, you could go home now. So Garcia's like, Bloodhound? What do you mean by that? And she says, oh, you didn't know? So she tries to stop, but she's like, ah, 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 shut the f up for a bust of cap in your ass. Yeah, exactly, uh, that's exactly that's what so it seemed cool. like. That's exactly what it seemed like. the Bloodhound of Florencia. She is a literal Cuban super soldier, and she is wanted in every single country in the world. So Garcia's like, hold on, is this true? And she's like, yeah, yeah it's all true. I've killed hundreds, probably thousands, glooshed up, and so many unthinkable things. Wow. Uh, I'm an international menace to society. So she's like, my bad, young master. I did not mean to deceive you, but it was for your own safety. But Revy's like, nah, f that sob story shit. What am I going to do with this bullet in my arm? So they like, <laughs> oh, you right. So uh, y'all can settle it with some bare knuckle boxing. So oh, about snap. You know so not. No. Start, Roberta says, hey, your shoes untied. Oh my! Send her ass to the stratosphere. So they start going crazy. They boxing and they over here taking best. Like I got a full house on Revy. Huh. I'm going all in on Roberta, nigga. So they end oh up my boxing God, for like an hour. hour. They just knocked each other out. How? How? So after this, they leave and she vows to never off anybody ever again. And well, uh, huh, that promise didn't go so well. Hell no, they we didn't. Saw was mild compared to what we are about to witness. So that was exhibit A and it is finally Oh my god. All, all that was B. A? Damn, what B is right, like? Ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you exhibit B. Okay. Vengeance and rip and tear. So about okay. a year later, word on the street is that Roberta is back. Cause somebody saw somebody in a maid outfit. So while Rock and Rick oh, Lord. at the bar, just because they seen somebody in a maid it's outfit. Not Roberta is this girl named Fabiola. So she walks up to him and says, "Master Garcia needs your help." But then homie behind her picks her up and he's like, "All right, listen, little lady. Oh my God, where's the actual real maid at?" She ends up stabbing this oh. guy in the. Wow. Didn't see that coming. Oh my God. 
God, sweet heavens. So she takes everybody over to Garcia. So then he says, all right, listen up, everybody. I need your help. You see, my maid has gone off the walls again. So what had happened was Garcia's dad, Mr. Lovelace, ended Ooh. up getting assassinated by some Americans. So obviously, this didn't sit well with Roberta because that was basically obviously. her father figure because Mr. Lovelace ended up taking in Roberta after she was on the run. That's why she poses as a maid. As a maid. So this ended okay. up waking up her inner demon again. And now she is slowly losing her sanity. So they uh, showed yeah. these pictures and there were six people that helped conspire with this assassination. So we cut over to one of the dudes and Roberta is back behind him, stalking him. So stalking him away, like hell. Call one of the people on the phone, but Roberta answers the phone. She's like, my, what? my, I've been looking for you, buddy. And don't try to call your other friends because <laughs> you got them cell phones too. Visit too. And about a day later. Homie's body was found dead and disfigured in a canal. Her next target was homie wow. right here. So she got him wow. chained up on this thing and he like, do you know who I am? And she like, yes, I know exactly who you are, Mr. American. Now you best start talking before your ass start cooking. Oh. Yo, she is guzzling down. She chopping them hoes like Tic Tacs. And she like, what? come on now, chop, chop, speak up, nigga. And later that day, homie was found dead. And the only suspect was a woman in a maid outfit. So later on, we cut back to the bar and Roberta pulls up in the bar. Then she says, there's a war coming. Please point me to every single weapon shop in this city. Please and thank you. So the bartender like, oh, hell no. Nah. But then she breaks the glass and she's like, do you think I'm joking? Now hurry up before I make you a pack. So the Americans are in town and everybody okay. in the hood going crazy. Because all hell is about to break loose. Uh, right? Yeah, they it's about to. Bounty hunters, Revy and her crew, the CIA and the cartel. All because of one all person. All because of one person. Roberta. So now later that evening, the gangsters try to pull up on the Americans, but they end up lighting them up. They say, we rep the U.S. of A in this motherfucker. <laughs> so they end up escaping to the roof, and there is a sniper on the other side. Oh, and my it God. It is none other than Roberta with the Barrett 50 cow. She oh, my God. She started on them and she got the new two for a sidearm. So then the other dudes come in and try to third party. I can't her, believe she this. She starts no scoping them with one hand. She is using a 50 cal with one, one hand. hand. Oh my Jesus face up the face for better in this. Bitch. And then she ends up pole vaulting all the way to another building. And look at the dudes right here. They like, bro, what, the what fuck? did we sign up for? So now <laughs> it's nightfall and the Americans are on the run. And the bloodhound is on the ass. So she gets with the 50 cow still smelling the ground. And she's like, I smell bitch. So she oh. gets up in this room and she's like, hmm, I should prepare. I should use this hanger as a weapon. What so in the world are you going to use the hanger for? Behind her and how are you going to use it? She's the absolute carnage that she has what? just left behind. So these dudes see this guy and they like, hey, bro, what's happening, bro? And well, uh, guess who's behind them? Hello. Roberta. So she ends up beating the life out of these dudes with her bare hands. So then this weirdo comes up and he's like, hmm, looks like the bloodhound is more ferocious than ever. So they start boxing. He, he low-key kind of boxing her up right now. So then he slams her on this table. And then, yo, yo, some weird ass sh happens right here. I ain't even gonna lie to you, bro. You know, I'm black what? on the screen now because I, all you just gotta know is some, uh, Hercules, Hercules, Hercules. Really? You get my drift. Yo, this man Garcia is out here watching this. Oh my God, this is terrible. Why are you watching? So why are they getting freaky? He said, all right, you know what to do next. And she's like, yeah, yeah, I got you. With some bullets. Oh. Yo, she really had a gun in the belt buckle. In the buckle. belt she buckle, said, yo, you know, for real. nasty with your dirty ass. So then she starts beating the uh -huh. life out of this man. She throwing him around like a rag doll and everything. So then Garcia yells, yo, please stop. <laughs> and your hand went through his entire... Hold up. <laughs> he said the top, I said, yo, please stop. Oh, oh boy, man. Roberta, Roberta, Roberta. Oh, my God. You have something to contend with right now. This is just the first one from this guy.
from CJ. This is the first one. I'm already like peaked over this mug right now. And Roberta is like something serious right now. Seriously. And I hope it's not another exhibit because right now, this is like the, the roughest I've ever seen so far. <laughs> Scholar. So then she's like, oh my God. Oh my God. I did not just do that in front of the young master. Oh, yes, she's you like, did. The young master shouldn't be here. You are an illusion. You are a lie. So she is about to shoot this little nigga. But then the Americans come in and save him. So then this even sets her off even more. Uh -oh. Like, oh my God, now they took the young master? They will all bleed and die. So then later on, Revy and her crew pull up. So then old girl tries oh, to run up we and go attack again. her. But she bites her sword in half. Then what? The girl comes in with the chainsaw and she breaks the chainsaw. So then homie come up right here, but he got kicked in his ball. Wow. So then Faviola comes and tries to stop her, but then she says, Faviola, have you watered the garden and taken the dog out for a walk yet? And she's like, oh my God, she has completely lost her mind. So now Roberta's chasing them down on a motorcycle and Bella like us up on top of the roof with the Russians. Then she starts talking to the Americans like, looks like you Americans could not get the job done. So allow us to finish it. So they end up shooting multiple RPGs at her. And that finally ended up slowing her down. So the Americans hit your ride with not give up and need a retreat. Notice he said slowing her down. He did not even say anything about getting rid of her. So obviously she's still there. But also, guess who's still hot on their tail? So Roberta got this plane ticket. So she sits down by the lady and the lady says, damn, you smell like ass. Looks like you found that ticket I left you. And this is none other than our favorite nun, Etta. The one that'll like to block up in the name of Jesus. But she's actually oh. a double agent for the CIA. So she drops a swing on her. She's like, hello, oh, shawty, chill. God. I'm just trying to help you out. That's all. So she's like, hmm, fine. But after my hunt is complete, I will reward you with a painless death. Really? Is this girl going to ever give, going to give? So now it's the next day and they're in this jungle. So they head off. So when they get out to the land and they start scouting it, they start to see rocks spread out around the land. And Garcia and Faviola like, oh, sh she already here. She's yep. about to make this a dead by daylight lobby. And boy, oh, oh boy, my God, right because she was dead about to make this a horror movie. Because with this scenery, she done turned into the predator. Come on, man. Why EDP, man? So she grabs this hostage and takes off. Then she stops, cuts off his ear, and then goes into what? the jungle. So these dudes hunting her down, and she is hanging in the Predator tree. style, too. So she pops this nigga, then lands on this dude's gun, then kicks his head off, and his then head off. So then she finds these other three dudes, so then she pops homie with the musket, and then they finally realize, oh my god, those rods are literally her bullets. She placed them there oh for them my to god. see what they were going to get killed by. Then she runs up on this dude and pops him right in his face. But then she ends up getting hit by a claymore. And then she ends up getting sniped. But she ate that and she is still moving. She's still oh moving. Oh my God, what the fuck is she made of? She just ate a claymore and a bullet and is still moving. But she ended up losing some fingers. So she's like, hmm, I don't need these shits. So then she just flings them off. And just acts like nothing happened. What? So now she's moving in the bushes, so she sneaks homie in the back. But then homie starts rapid firing, so she runs at him at full speed, <laughs> eating bullets, and she wow. stops his with the bayonet. So then she picks up his walkie-talkie, and she's like, mm -mm -mm, "You all are dropping like flies." Make this at least a little entertaining for me. So oh then my God. With the ponytail started running at her, but she chucks the whole gun at the him. The whole gun. Like, Hear my war cry. But then she ends up seeing Garcia and he's like, yo, please just stop. But she's still <laughs> losing her mind. She's like, you are not the young master. You are the enemy. But then he basically has to take a whole bullet to believe that it's him. So she finally just stopped it. Dear God, thank the Lord. Bro, just look at her. She is beat the f up. So yeah. after all of her carnage, she now getting pushed around in a wheelchair. She done lost a leg, an arm, half a hand, an eye, half a hair. And look at her. She's still like, I'll still kill them on God.
you know what? She probably still could. So yeah, with all that evidence sent out, there's no discussion, there's no argument. This damn Terminator, Predator, Doom Guy ass she took on the USA, Russia, the cartel, Colombian special forces, God knows the what I she did in her story, and she technically beat the protagonist. Nah, sit down, that's a wrap. So yeah, that's it. Uh, I think this might be the longest trial to date. So yeah, hope y'all enjoyed. Uh, follow your boy Naji on Twitter. Make sure y'all sub to the second channel. I'm finally cooking over there again. And uh, I am out of here. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That's some good stuff. Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh my God. Yes. We're going to be doing more videos with him. He just opened my eyes up to totally a whole different character. I did not know anything about. Wow. Roberta, Roberta, Roberta. Oh my God. She is really, truly a Terminator. Wow. Just basically just eating sores, eating bullets. Took the claymore to the face. Still ducking off like nothing happened. Wow. Ooh, Roberta. That name is stuck in my head. <laughs> but if you are new, please subscribe to the channel. Um, I have more content on the way. Now that he done came up, I got more um content in general, really. So I'm just just a matter of time me putting it out, laying it out for you. Um I have a gaming channel. Gaming channel is in the description down below. And we're, running, we're going to run the numbers up to 400 subscribers. And then I'll do a giveaway. Simple as that. Without further ado, this is Bob signing off. Make sure you have that notification bell on. Make sure you hit that like. Make sure you comment, you know, your favorite parts. And comment ideas and all that. I'm free. I'm open to anything. So... Without further ado, have a good day, have a good morning, have a good night. See you when I see you. Who the guess? We can make it the way that we want it. Who the guess? I could wake up to this in the morning. We say bomb, my food is go ball, let my wish it all. We say bomb, my food is go ball, let my wish it all. You know I came in there floss and I'm actually awesome. I can't let him get in my way. This grand is all like the Apri and Meyer. The sauces, I need to go get him a praise. You know I'm straight at the team. It's been like.